Well, I just drove to El Camino to the store. Everything was going well and it caught on fire. Uh, as soon as I pulled into the yard, I started um, just backing forward, back, whatever, just getting into the position where I usually park the car. And all of a sudden, a big gulf of flame comes off from under the hood. And immediately, I go into, you know, oh crap mode. I thought it was a fuel line. Uh, just talking to the owner, friend, co-worker about how we're scared the fuel line uh, is going to bust because it's nothing but a, a push lock set up. And uh, we won't put an AN line on it. And it's doing great so far. And so I'll show you what failed. I've seen a flash and I've seen this fall. So this spot here was um, a big fireball. I don't, I'm guessing power steering fluid was on fire and it failed. It don't really make sense because it really looked like it was like leaves. Anyways. I'll show you. Ain't really much damage. Uh, luckily, I had a fire extinguisher nearby. The one I had in the car was empty from the first fire, which is baffling because it shouldn't be. Um, so, grabbed a second one. Uh, Notice there wasn't nothing coming off from under the hood. So, I did see smoke. So, that was alarming. Uh, just going through and watching and being part of fire training, I knew not to pop the hood immediately because that adds um, air to the fire. So I went, tried to stay calm, but also potentially aim my car, um, found a fire extinguisher. My brother came out and told him to get a water hose and I popped the hood, tried to do it slowly, but with the hood quick release, it was kind of a pain. Popped the hood and there was like a six inch flame burning on the um the kevlar so this spark plug wrap had gotten soaked in hydraulic or the transmission fluid and it was just on fire which you can see how it was charring up the plastic um i was really fearful that line was gonna melt or that's the one that's gonna bust so this power steering line here has busted twice on us um, I could do it one more time and straighten out the hose, um, but I don't know if I can because at 90, I think it might, I don't know, it could be a lot better and not be as aggressive because it's a pretty sharp bend there, but um, truthfully at this point, well, I'm just going to get it crimped on. Um, I'm going to take it to somebody. I might redo it with the bins I want and take that to them and say, hey, crimp this on with that extra machine that will give it a crimp and not an AN fitting. I know these things put out pressure. Um, I just don't know how much. And this has to be like crazy because I've never had this type issues with AN fittings before. And I, I am blaming probably 80% of it on the bend. But like, you know, that what's that saying? If I might say it wrong. Fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice shame on you then yeah. next time it ain't gonna happen i mean i just can't hit my heart of hearts give this back to him and if it catches on fire like well dang the in fitting was the, the bad part the factory does it with crimp ons i've never seen the crimps fail it's always the hose that fails before the crimps that's what we're gonna do so and it's just kind of brings even more light that we need to get this fuel hose with the setup that we want, uh, not go with this push lock uh, setup and um, just get this right. That's scary. That is super scary. And that's one reason I want to drive this car before I give it to him. He's not as mechanically inclined as I am. So if I can work out all these bugs, uh, the, the better and uh, we just called the tuner today we're supposed to be getting an answer either today or tomorrow if that tuner is going to be willing to work on this car um mental ways so some fi fire safety i would like to share if your car does catch on fire leave the hood closed take your time in a urgency 
to go get you a fire extinguisher water hose and it ain't a bad idea just to go ahead and shoot a little um spray up there i didn't see a flame i actually thought the flame was gone but i played all the precautions of taking my time willing i had the pulled the pin already i was ready to go as soon as i opened that uh hood willing to shut it so i should fire needs oxygen to breathe i would have closed that hood in a heartbeat and got the water hose or something uh and try to take care of it the best i could willing to call 911. uh so kind of a short video it kind of sucks uh his corvette cover did get ruined a little more i don't know if our spark plug wire is going to be good it looks okay but surely it's charred and uh we're going to fix this stuff we can't have this happen again hey but thanks uh from coming and watching this video uh comment like subscribe tell me what y'all's thoughts am, am i a goober uh reach straighten out the line you know all that good stuff any feedback is good feedback at this point and i appreciate it to the next one